the life and property of the people. It has been carried out in accordance with law, and the situation has been changed for the better, and uh, peace and stability has reappeared. For some time, we've been hearing unfounded accusations on the social governance and human rights situation there. They're, they're groundless. It is a common practice of countries to make use of human rights issues to interfere in others' internal affairs to advance double standards. We hope we can make use of the platform of the Council to seek uh, equal dialogue and exchange in the fields of human rights to let the world listen to China's voices to understand the truth about Xinjiang and to promote the sound development of human rights programs. We also urge countries to remove their tainted glasses to refrain from cold war mentality and ideological bias to cease to use uh, human rights problem to interfere in China's internal affairs, then we should continue to fight terrorism, extremism, and safeguard world peace and stability. International Committee for the Indigenous People of the Americas. The floor is yours. Since time immemorial, Okinawa was an independent nation known as Ryukyu. In 1879, Japan illegally annexed Ryukyu against the will of Ryukyuans. Japan shortly after did the same to many other countries such as Korea, China, and the Philippines. After World War II, all of those nations were given back their independence except Ryukyu. Japan used the Battle of Okinawa as a cover to commit genocide against Ryukyuans during which Japanese soldiers purposely murdered thousands of Ryukyu civilians and forced thousands of others to commit suicide. Overall, at least 140,000 Ryukyuans were killed during a time span of just a few months, amounting to between one-fourth to one-third of the population. Today, Japan is once again preparing to sacrifice Ryukyuans by placing an inordinate amount of military forces in Ryukyu. In the event of another attack from one of Japan's enemies, Ryukyu will again be annihilated. Ryukyuans have long been peacefully protesting and trying to reverse this inordinate amount of military buildup. We urge the Human Rights Council to support Ryukyu in this matter. Hence, it will be sending a message to the world that peaceful actions are the Council's priority, and violence is not the only action that gets the Council's attention. The very foundation of the UN must not be rendered obsolete. Therefore, we strongly urge the Human Rights Council to assist the UQ and to ascertain the fact that the UQs have suffered from prejudice, discrimination, and genocide. Your time and consideration are much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you. Now I'll give you the floor to the representative of International Fellowship of Reconciliation. The floor is yours. Thank you, Mr. Vice President. Hi, Commissioner. I 